Hi, I'm here with Tiffany Schlain, who is co-author and director of the new film, Connected, about to be released in theaters soon. I know, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for doing this conversation with me at Watermark. And first, why don't we start by defining for us the definition of connectedness in the 21st century. Sure. It has several different definitions in the film. One is, what does connectedness mean with all of these technologies? So cell phones and the way that we can email and text and tweet and so it looks a lot at technology. It also looks at personally, the film has an autobiographical component, so what does it mean to me personally to be connected, um, which I hope will people will relate to um, also. And then lastly, globally, we're so interdependent on so many different parts of the world and our environment and technology and economics and how do we use all of these technologies to kind of help solve some of the biggest problems of our, of our day and think of the world more interdependently. Well, I often think about my mother and her friends when I was growing up and when she wanted to have her own career after she had us three children, she really had to leave the house to engage with the world. She went back to school to get her PhD and, and I think about the way that I live my life right now and you know, I have two children, I feel like I'm a very present mom at home a lot, but I'm able to remotely do so much work just from my home through the power of the internet. So in a lot of ways, I feel like the internet was the tool the feminist movement always needed to kind of fully realize being an engaged mother and an engaged participant in the world. And um, not that that ever is, it's never a perfect balance, <laughs> but I feel like the tools with technology, the internet and cell phone, allow you to do both better than before. Well, it's been proven throughout history that the more perspectives you have on a problem, more innovation will happen. Mm -hmm. So Matt Ridley wrote this great book, um, The Rational Optimist, I think it was called, about looking at cities, because that used to be the place where most perspectives could come around an issue. And now we have this global framework of the internet for people to come from different perspectives to solve problems. So having women, people from different backgrounds on boards are going to solve more problems. It's just like, it's such a, to me, such a simple solution. Um, I think that the web also is a great equalizer for women. There's such a great platform for women to get their ideas out there, um, to tweet, post, blog, just to communicate who they are, the intelligence and wisdom that they have, so that they will hopefully be engaged with more boards. So it's a very exciting time to be alive and to be a woman. Um, I feel very grateful for, you know, I, I did a film that was at Sundance about 10 years ago called Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness, all about the importance of reproductive rights, women's rights, and I always thank my grandmothers and mother and stepmother for fighting for women's rights. And we're at this place where we get to push it further now with all of these new tools. So I think it's a very exciting time to be alive. Women in particular are natural connectors. Mm -hmm. It's part of our social being and our group thinking. Yeah. Um, not in a negative way, group thinking. And you know, I, I see this as really a natural fit for women yeah. in particular and the advancement of women economically through the power of connections and yeah. the internet. So what would be one last piece of advice or your thoughts about how we take this to the next level? What can we all do? I think we can be um, very mindful about the way we do connect and like I said, making a space to not be plugged in all the time, I think is a simple thing that everyone can try to do and you're gonna realize how much happier you are, more kind of well-being you have by unplugging one day a week, that's a simple thing. On a greater scale, there's so many networks that you can connect with that have similar goals as you all over the world. So to proactively reach out to the other networks of women trying to make change in this world with all of these new tools, there's so many ways for collaboration and partnership today that we never had before.